fear and uncertainty. Markets moving down and it is that that is driving it right now. We've also got tomorrow is the day. That is the CPI data report. It's coming out tomorrow. We're going to talk about that, all that in this video. As always, thanks for your support. Subscribe button below. Hit drop a like. Tell the algorithm algorithm eh, algorithm that we are here. Okay, here's the thing, man. It is gone down quick. We are down four plus percent. We dropped below that one trillion dollar market cap, and you can see Bitcoin's moving down two and a half. Ethereum's getting hit a little bit harder down four uh, and a half. And let me look real quickly. So we're at the we're at the twenty four hour low right now as of the recording of this video. Okay, so moving down. And if you look kind of what's getting hit hard, BNB, XRP is getting hit, Cardano, Dogecoin, Polygon's getting hit hard. I know Do I know SHIB's getting hit nine percent plus down. Everything is moving down pretty significantly right now. Again, the, the opening statement from me was fear and uncertainty. And it's really, I think, directly correlated to tomorrow, the 14th of February, the CPI report. And I think this is a sell-off event. I've looked the on the stock side. If you look at this, so if you look right, right now as of the recording of this video on the stock side, it's on fire. Dow's up 300 plus. NASDAQ, let me zoom in on this. You can you guys can see that a little bit. Yeah, Dow's down 300. NASDAQ's up 168. That was up 300. Sorry, you know what I was saying. You get my point. Uh, everything is just kind of, you, you know, Look, stock rise after worst week of 2023 as CPI looms. That's the CPI report I mentioned earlier. So crypto is is getting hit pretty hard right now. And again, it's it's coming back a little bit. So now it's only down 3.8. Um, you know, but again, fear and uncertainty. But really, it's uncertainty. We had a jobs report come out about 10 plus days ago. Uh, that was a major um, surprise. There, we were only expecting, I think, a jobs growth about a hundred and. Uh, 18,000 or 100, I can't remember the exact number, it was 118,000, but we ended up getting 570,000 plus jobs growth, which was a major, like, holy cow, what's going on here? Uh, because that was not a number we were expecting, right? And so that was a major surprise factor, which that jobs growth basically is, is signaling to uh, from an inflation standpoint that, you know, all the measures that the Fed's doing and all this kind of stuff is not really working as well on that side of the, on that side of the street. And jobs and labor report is one of the key things that the Federal Reserve looks at and, you know, as it relates to kind of uh, the state of the union of inflation and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So fear and uncertainty really right now is what's, is what you can feel it. It's just gone. It's just turned like that. And it's really majorly uncertainty right this second. That's what I got for you. And I hope that you uh, just, hey, right. Th this is this too shall pass, right? We're just, we're here. Um, this could be the sell-off as a precursor push down sell-off to tomorrow. If we get a good CPI report, it's going to bounce and go back right back up. So stay tuned. Uh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Volatile, 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 and uncertainty. All right. I'll see you. Bye.